Hi, this is Gail with Vita Jewelry Diva, and today we are going to talk memory wire. Now, I have some traditional memory wire bracelet videos out there, but today we're really going to talk about the wire. Because memory wires come a long way since I first started beading. We have the traditional stainless kind of color, but it also comes in things like gold. It comes in different sizes. It comes in different shapes. And... This is really an oval, even though it doesn't look that way at the moment. There we go. Um, so different sizes, different shapes, and actually different wire types as well. So we're going to take a look at the different kinds of memory wire today. We're also going to see some new design ideas that are, are beyond the traditional uses for memory wires. So stay tuned for that. But before we go on to talk about the memory wires, I would say if you enjoy today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really does help to keep me encouraged to make videos. Also, if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll always be notified when I have new videos up. So let's go ahead and take a look at memory wire. There are several different sizes and kinds of memory wires. So let's go ahead and go through the sizes first. First one is the ring size and it is three quarters of an inch. So that's 0.75 inches. Next one is going to be a two inch bracelet. And this is what we call the small bracelet. This one is 2.25 inches in diameter, medium bracelet. This one is the large bracelet and it is 2.5 inches in diameter. <clears throat> this is the um, necklace size and the necklace size is 3.6 inches in diameter. Now those are the size of the round wire and let me show you what I mean by round wire. And I actually I'll probably have to take a still picture of this. But the round wire is round as you might guess. So it doesn't refer to this but it refers to the actual wire itself. Now we also have flat memory wire. And flat memory wire is, is exactly what it sounds like. It is flat as opposed to round. So you can see it there. It's flat. This is, oh, let's see, probably the medium size. So this is the medium size. We also have an oval shaped as opposed to a circular shape. So the oval shape is good for people who prefer to have a more oval um, it fits their wrist better, for example. So that, that's the kind. Now, you see that there are several different colors, and there it comes in silver, gold, and I believe copper as well. Um, I'll double check that one. But these are the kinds of memory wires that you're most likely to come across. Now, there's two different ways that are primarily used for closure on memory wires. One of them is just a simple loop. Let's see if I can get that actually in focus. One of them would be a simple loop. And the other one would be a bead end. So those are the two main options that you would have with the finishing the memory wire. Now, when you're working with memory wire, please keep in mind that you need a pair of memory wire cutters. These work with stainless steel, which is basically what this is. And if you use a pair of regular flush cutters, I guarantee you, you will damage them. Um, I've done it and I've damaged them. Now, when it comes to actually making loops in memory wire, you're going to have to have a pair of fairly strong round nose pliers. And the reason I say fairly strong is this stuff is indeed difficult to bend. It's strong, it's fully hard, and there we go. It took me a little bit to, to get it uh, finished, but I was able to do it. Now, one thing you don't want to do, and I just did this for, for visual purposes, but you don't want to close both ends of your memory wire until you've actually got your beads on. <laughs> so if, if you do that, then you know, you're going to run into a problem because you're not going to be able to string your beads on. But this one was for demonstration purposes. And if you find that you, that you do this, you can always try to clip off the end of it with, again, with your cutters for memory wire. And that way you can go ahead and string your beads on. 
Now in this particular case, this is your memory wire bead cap. And this, let's see if I can get a good shot of this. So you can see in this particular one, I have one with a square hole in it for the square flat memory wire. I also have a bead that has a round hole, and this is for use with the round memory wire. And obviously you can use this with the oval shape as well, but round uh, type of memory wire. This comes in two different sizes. It comes in the five millimeter size and the three millimeter size. Now, all that I've been able to find for the flat one is the five millimeter size. And the five millimeters obviously is the diameter of the bead. To use them, what you do is you get some um, glue. I like to use E6000. You coat the end of it, and then you go ahead and place the bead in place. Now, leave this for, I don't know, I'd leave it for probably overnight, because this, this bead is going to get a lot of stress on it. And you want to make sure that it has plenty of time to set up and get the glue inside nice and hard before you do it. And obviously, again, you want to put your beads on before you put your end on. Okay, so let's go ahead and see some different ideas for use of memory wire. First off, we have an earring. And I just made this with one of the ring size ones. And you can see that I just put some chains on it. And then for the top, what I did is I did a loop with the memory wire. And then I put a bead end on. And as you can see, it, uh, it separates, but the bead kind of keeps it closed. And then we have the earring finding. So that's earring number one. For design idea number two, I used a small bracelet. I cut off about half of it, made a little loop on this end, strung on some fire polished beads, and then added a little charm to it. So I've got an ear nut here so that it will hold it on your ear, and I have a little loop on the end of it. So this is design idea number two for earrings. For design idea number three, this is again an earring. What I've done is I've taken a small bracelet again, I put a loop on either end, one going in one direction, one going in the other direction. I used some wire to secure them together. And then from the lower loop, I put a starfish charm on it. And this upper loop is what you would connect to an earring finding. So that's design idea number three for earrings. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some bracelet designs. Here we have an adjustable charm bracelet. So you can see all the charms that I have on it. And the way this is adjustable is you see that I have some little loops on here. Well, to make this um, easier to get on and off, you just go ahead and pull up apart like this and put it on your wrist. And then when it, once it's on your wrist, then it goes back to being a charm bracelet. So that is the first design idea for a bracelet. This last design idea is just a cup chain and I have wrapped it onto a flat um, memory wire chain. And so we have just like a little tennis bracelet type thing going. You've got it open on either end and you can either put a, a clasp here if you'd like or the extra wire here also kind of uh, makes it a little bit more secure. So you can probably just wear it like this, but if you think you're going to get it caught on something, go ahead and put a small clasp on it. So here you go, five different design ideas that you use with memory wire, but they're not the traditional memory wire bracelets. So we've got three pairs of earrings and we've got two pairs or two bracelets. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really does help to encourage me. Um, if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, go ahead, hit the sub subscribe and then hit the bell so you'll always get notified whenever I have a new video up. This is Gail signing out saying have yourself a beautiful day and watch for those bloopers. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye. Well, their design ideas. This isn't quite right. Let me figure out a better way to steal. It's. I don't know if it's stainless or not, but it is a yeah. charm bracelet. This is not a charm bracelet. Let's check.
Who knows? This is a ring, and it is a... This, this one is really bad. Let me... Let me see if I can do this. This better. one is a two mil, uh, two millimeter, right? 